So um, we have no gimmicks for you today. We have no pipe cleaners. We have clean, sleek lines for a clean, sleek idea. Student-centered, kinesthetic, really fun, and cheap. Yeah, you want to hear more? Snap, you want to hear more? Thank you. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm a first grade teacher who needs some resources to use in my classroom to do all the things that Casey just mentioned while injecting my classroom with more joy. And you don't have a lot of time, do you, classroom teacher? Very little time. You need to be able to access information immediately. Instantly. And be, and be able to pay for it with that million dollar paycheck that you get. No money, none. <laughs> really? Really. Teachers don't make a lot of money? Not. No, not in this nation. <laughs> so I go online and I access this wonderful portal where I can find resources like the Story Ball, an activity to do with first graders that allows them to place parts of a story sequentially into a ball and then toss it around the room telling the story. And this is actually very easy to access. The interface is very clear. It has exactly three points for skills, incentives, and resources. Under skills, it's completely broken down by common core, standard, skill, and interest. You get a two minute tops video. You can also submit your own video if you use the activity in your classroom. If you are chosen as the video of the week, you end up in incentives and get points so that you can purchase things on donors choose. Under resources, you can find links and not only links to teacher blogs and other community spaces, you can find specifically resource links to create the things that you need for your skills. All this in a clean interface divided by grade, standard, and resource type that I can access quickly and inject into my classroom. Thank you. <laughs>